Hi everyone, my name is Courtney and I'm Fiber Fox Studios. Welcome to Mosaic Monday. Today we're working on pattern number 46, Dahlia's Diamonds, and we are going to be working this pattern from start to finish in this tutorial. But for those of you who ask, there is always a chart set available. It's linked down below over in my Etsy shop. You, of course, do not need that chart set. You never do. I will take you through the complete pattern from row one all the way to row 26 in this case and we're going to be working in our multiple of 20 and we're going to go over yarn color real quick but if you don't need any of this information there's timestamps down in the description so you can just hop ahead to row one and get started on your project remember there's project ideas down there as well as other relevant links so be sure to check out the description anytime that you have a question it will probably be found down there already answered for you so for those of you who are interested in the yarn and like for me to show it i am using lion brand mandala as my color a this week it is a color changing yarn but don't worry we're staying primarily in the green colorway and for most of the tutorial it only changes a little bit to yellow at the very last few rows it's no big deal so that's color a the color name on this is I believe you pronounce that Nifflers. I'm not really sure. It's a it's a different name, <laughs> but that's that's this. <laughs> that's color A, and then for color B, I am using Stylecraft Special Double Knit, and this color is called Empire. For those of you who need the specific color information, that is what I used right there. So that's color B throughout the tutorial. So this doesn't change at all. I'm using a color changing only on color A. But we are going to jump into that tutorial now. So you need to grab at least two colors of yarn, your favorite crochet hook, and we're going to get started right now. So we begin by picking up color A and we're going to chain in the multiple of 20 as many times as you would like. And then if you are working flat, you are going to add four more chains to that chain count. So for my sample piece, I have chained in our multiple of 20 twice, so that's 40 chains. Then I've added four more chains to the end for a total of 44 starting chains. If you're going to be working in the round, you will just simply chain in that multiple of 20 over and over. And then we slip stitch when we're working in the round to the first chain we made to form a ring. And then you will follow the repeats given in the video in and you'll begin in that same stitch that we slip stitch into for the rest of us who are working flat we're going to begin row one now and row one begins just like always we have to skip the next chain that's from our hook and we move into the second chain from our hook and that is where we're going to do our traditional single crochet so we go in under the v to begin our row and then we just single crochet like normal from there. So you pull up your loop and then you grab your yarn and pull through two. And that is how we start our row. Now from here, we're going to begin the repeat for row number one, which is very simple. We're working all of our repeat stitches when they are single crochets by picking up the back loop only. So we only work in the back side of that stitch or the top of the stitch back loop, leaving that front loop for later. So we do a single crochet in all of our stitches and we just know that when we're working our repeat, we're always working in one side of the stitch only, always in the back loop. So you're gonna place one of those in each and every stitch and then we'll meet up when you have one final stitch left to work in your row. We are now here at the end of row one and I have one final stitch left. This is how you will work every final stitch of every row. Every one of them when we're working flat is done by doing a traditional single crochet, going completely into that stitch in the last stitch of every row. From here, you can bind off by chaining up two, clipping your yarn and cinching down those chains to form a knot 
which I will do real quick right in front of you. So I pull out my yarn. So I just have those two chains, put my thumb and index above, and I'm going to pull up on the tail while I cinch down with my thumb and index, pushing that towards my work and forming that perfect little knot. So that's how I bind off. You, of course, can bind off however you prefer. Now we're going to work row two, and we do not turn our work. We just return back here to the start of the row to the first stitch. And we're now going to be joining on color B, and this is how we're going to join on our new color every row because we are changing color each and every row. For row one only, we have this little turning chain that we need to scoot down out of our way. We want to make sure that we are going into the first V that we see. You don't want to work into that turning chain ever because it will throw off your count. So we want to go into the complete first stitch because we always join on with the traditional single crochet. So now we're going to grab color B. So this is blue for me. And we just add that onto our hook and pull up a loop. Now we grab tail and working yarn and chain one. And then we go back into that same exact first stitch. We grab and pull up a loop. And then we grab and pull through all of that to finish out our traditional single crochet and joining on. So now we're going to move on to our repeat for row two, which is exactly the same as row one. We are working a single crochet into each of our stitches, and we know that since it's a repeat, we are working them in the back loop only. So you're going to place one single crochet in all of your stitches, working in that back loop, and then we'll meet up for row number three. As always, the final stitch in your row will be a traditional single crochet. So you will bind off and meet up with me for row three whenever you're ready. Row three begins now and we are working in color A. Row three's repeat begins immediately and that repeat begins with nine single crochets. So right here into this next stitch, we begin working. One. Two. Three. four, five, six, seven, eight, and number nine. Now we're going to work one double crochet and all of our double crochets will be worked exactly the same. So we wrap our yarn just like normal. We identify our next stitch and we slide directly down, picking up this front loop. Now we grab our yarn and we pull up a loop, grab our yarn, pull through two and pull through two. So just like a normal double crochet from there, it's our placement and the way we drop down to cover up our previous row that forms our shapes and makes this a mosaic double crochet. Otherwise, it's worked exactly like you're used to. Each double crochet you work will take up one stitch back here on the row. So when you fold this back, you will see there's one stitch back here. And when we cover it back up, we know our next stitch is right here. So we're going to work our next stitch as a single crochet. One double crochet. And we will end our repeat by working eight single crochets. So 
to right here into the next we begin one two three four five six seven eight so that ends a repeat so let's recap it row number three's repeat began with nine single crochets one double crochet one single crochet and one double crochet and then we end the repeat by working eight single crochets so now we're going to work our repeat again together but i do want to confirm for those of you who are new we began with our nine single crochets we ended with eight single crochets and that is correct we are now going to start the repeat over and work it again so we're going to start with nine single crochets because that's what our repeat starts with so now our repeat begins again we're going to work one two three four five six, seven, eight, nine. Now we continue with our repeat. One double crochet. One single crochet. one double crochet and we end the repeat with eight single crochets one two three, four, five, six, seven, and number eight. That ends the repeat. So you will continue to work your exact set of stitches, the exact repeat, nine single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, eight single crochets. You'll work that set of stitches over and over all the way down your row. Your work will look like this. So you do have the long series of single crochets through that section, that's correct. And then we'll meet up when you're ready for the row end. If you're working a swatch right along with me, we're now ready for our row end. So we're going to work our row in now. This is how all of your row ends will work out. The end of every row, you will always have these two stitches left. The way that you work your row end is you restart your repeat for one stitch. And then of course, in the very last stitch of the row, you do your traditional single crochet. So for row three, our repeat begins with single crochet. So we would work a single crochet here in this next stitch. And then traditional single crochet in the very last stitch of the row. And now, of course, you bind off. But the end result will mean that right here at the row end, it will now match with your row beginning. So the beginning of your project, let's say this is a blanket, this side will have nine single crochets. 
And when you get all the way to the end, that final pattern will have nine single crochets at the end. So it'll be nice and even for you. So now we're going to move on to row number four. Row four begins now and you are working in color B. Row four's repeat begins with 10 single crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. One double crochet. And we end the repeat by working nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap real quick. Row number four's repeat began with 10 single crochets one double crochet and we end with nine single crochets so essentially all you're doing down your row is working single crochets until you get to these little double crochets little boxes and that's where we're dropping down our double crochet right there in the center so you can kind of zoom down this row and look for these landmarks of these little boxes that's where your double crochet is going to slide in so easy way to finish that row out. You'll keep working your set of stitches though all the way down your row and we'll be back in just a moment for row number five. As a reminder, into the row, restart your repeat for one stitch and then do your traditional single crochet in the last stitch of the row. Row five begins now and we are working in color A. Row five's repeat begins with seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, one double crochet, five single crochets. One. Two, number three, four, and number five. One double crochet.
and we'll end the repeat by working six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and number six. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we have done. Row number five's repeat began with seven single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, and then we end with six single crochets. So you will start back over at the beginning of the repeat and begin working this exact set of stitches over and over on down your row. And we'll meet up for row number six in just a moment. As a reminder, restart the repeat for one stitch at the end of the row, and then traditional single crochet in that last stitch. Row six begins now and we are working in color B. Our repeat for row number six begins with eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and number eight. One double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, And we will end the repeat with seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and number seven. So that ends our repeat for row six. So let's recap it. Row number six repeat will begin with eight single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and then we will end with seven single crochets. So keep working that exact set of stitches all the way down your row, and we'll meet up for row seven in just a moment. Row seven begins now, and we are working in color A. Row seven's repeat begins with five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, one double crochet,
three single crochets. One, two, three, one double crochet, one single crochet. one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, and we will end with four single crochets. One, two, three, Four. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we have done. Row number seven's repeat began with five single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets one double crochet, and we end with four single crochets. So keep working that exact set of stitches on down your row, and we will meet up for row eight in just a moment. Row number eight begins now, and we are working in color B. Row eight's repeat begins with six single crochets, One, two, three, four, five, six, one double crochet. three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, three single crochets, One, two, and number three. One double crochet. And we'll end the repeat with five single crochets. One, two, three, oops, four, and number five. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we have done. Row number eight's repeat begins with six single crochets one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, 
three single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with five single crochets. So you will keep working that exact set of stitches all the way down your row and we'll meet up for row number nine in just a moment. Row number nine begins now and we are working in color A. Row nine's repeat begins with three single crochets. One, two, three. One double crochet. Oops. Three single crochets. One, two, three. One double crochet. Five single crochets. One. Two, three, four, five. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One, two, three, one double crochet, and we end with two single crochets. One. And number two. So that ends our repeat for row nine. So let's recap it. Row nine's repeat began with three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with two single crochets. So you will start back over at the beginning of the repeat and continue to work that exact set of stitches all the way down your row, and we'll meet up when you're ready for row number 10. Row 10 begins now, and we are working in color B. Row 10's repeat begins with four single crochets. One, two, three, four. One double crochet. Three single crochets, one, two, three, two double crochets, one, Two, 
one single crochet. two double crochets, one, two, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, and we'll end the repeat by working three single crochets. One, two, three, and that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we have done. Row number 10's repeat began with four single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets ends that repeat. So you will keep working this exact set of stitches all the way down your row and we'll meet up for row number 11 whenever you are ready. Row 11 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 11's repeat begins with one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, four single crochets, one, two, three, four, one double crochet, four single crochets, one, two, three, four, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet to end the repeat. So that ends our repeat. Let's recap what we've done. Row number 11's repeat began with one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, 
one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So you will start back over at the beginning of the repeat, working that little single crochet to start, and you'll keep working on down your row, and we'll meet up for row 12 whenever you're ready. Row 12 begins now, and we are working in color B. Row 12's repeat begins with two single crochets, One, two, one double crochet, three single crochets, one. two, three, three double crochets, one, two, three, three single crochets, one, two, three, three double crochets, one, two, three, three single crochets, one, two, and number three. One double crochet. One single crochet to end our repeat. So that ends our repeat. Let's recap it. Row number 12's repeat began with two single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with one single crochet. So you'll start back over at the beginning of the repeat and keep working on down your row. We'll meet up for row 13 in just a moment. Row 13 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 13's repeat begins with one double crochet. So right here, very next stitch. two single crochets, one, two, one double crochet, thirteen single crochets,
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now we will work one double crochet. Two single crochets will end our repeat. One, two. So that ends the repeat. Let's recap what we have done. Row number 13's repeat began with one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, 13 single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with two single crochets. So you will continue to work that exact set all the way down your row, and we'll meet up in just a moment for row 14. Row 14 begins now, and we are working in color B. Row 14's repeat began with one single crochet, or it begins with one single crochet. One double crochet. Seven single crochets. Two, three, four, five, six, and number seven. One double crochet. One single crochet, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, one double crochet to end that repeat. So let's recap what we have done. Row 14's repeat began with one single crochet, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, seven single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So you are going to keep working that exact set of stitches on down your row and we'll meet up when you're ready for row 15.
Row 15 begins now, and we are working in color A. Row 15's repeat begins with one double crochet. Two single crochets, one, two, one double crochet, thirteen single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One double crochet. And we'll end our repeat with two single crochets. One, two. So let's recap what we've done. Row 15's repeat began with one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, 13 single crochets, one double crochet, and we end the repeat with two single crochets. So you will continue to work that exact set of stitches on down your row, and we'll meet up for row 16 in just a moment. Row 16 begins now, and we are working in color B. Row 16's repeat begins with two single crochets. One. And two. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One, two, three, three double crochets, one, two, three, three single crochets, one, two, three, three double crochets, One, two, three, three single crochets, one, two, three, 
one double crochet. One single crochet to end that repeat. So now let's recap what we've done. Row 16's repeat began with two single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with one single crochet. So you're going to continue to work that exact set of stitches and we'll meet up when you're ready for row 17. Row 17 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 17's repeat begins with one single crochet one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, four single crochets, one, two, three, and number four. One double crochet, four single crochets, one, two, three, four. One double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, and number three. And we will end our repeat with one double crochet here into this very next stitch. So that ends our repeat. Let's recap what we've done. Row 17's repeat began with one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So continue to work that exact set of stitches and we'll be back for row 18 in just a moment. Row 18 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 18's repeat begins with four single crochets. One, two, three, four, one double crochet, three single crochets, One, two, three, two double crochets,
one, two, one single crochet, two double crochets, one, and two, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, and three single crochets will end that repeat. One, two, three. So let's recap what we have done. Row 18's repeat began over here with four single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with three single crochets. So you will continue to work that exact set of stitches on down your row and we'll meet up for row 19 in just a moment. Row 19 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 19's repeat begins with three single crochets. One, two, and number three. One double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet. five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, two single crochets, one and two, and that ends our repeat. So let's recap. Row number 19's repeat began with three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with two single crochets. So continue to work on down your row and we'll meet up for row 20 in just a moment. Row 20 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 20's repeat begins with six single crochets. One, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, and we'll end with five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. So that ends our repeat. Let's recap it. Row 20's repeat began with six single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with five single crochets. So continue on down your row working that exact set of stitches and we'll be back for row 21 in just a moment. Row 21 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 21's repeat begins with five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and number five. One double crochet, three single crochets, One, two, three, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, and we'll end with four single crochets. One, two, three, and number four. So let's recap what we have done. Row number 21's repeat began with five single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, 
and we end with four single crochets. So continue to work that set of stitches on down your row and we'll be back for row number 22 in just a moment. Row 22 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 22's repeat begins with eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, And we end the repeat with seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that ends our repeat. Let's recap it. Row 22's repeat began over here with eight single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with seven single crochets. So you'll start back over at the beginning of your repeat, keep on working down your row, and we'll meet up for row 23 in just a moment. Row 23 begins now, and we are working in color A. Row 23's repeat begins with seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. six, seven, one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, one double crochet, and we will end the repeat with six single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and number six. So let's recap what we've done. Row 23's repeat began with seven single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with six single crochets. So continue to work that exact set of stitches and meet up with me whenever you're ready for row 24. Row 24 begins now, and we are working in color B. Row 24's repeat begins with 10 single crochets. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. One double crochet. Nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and number nine. That ends our repeat, so let's recap it. Row 24's repeat began with 10 single crochets, one double crochet, nine single crochets ends that repeat. So continue to work that exact set of stitches and we'll meet up for row 25 in just a moment. Row 25 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 25's repeat begins with nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, and number nine. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. And we'll end the repeat with eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and number eight. So now let's recap what we have done. Row 25's repeat began with nine single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and we end with eight single crochets. So you're gonna continue to work that exact set of stitches all the way down your row, and then we will meet up for row 26 in a little additional instruction in just a moment. For those of you who are going to work only one repeat of this design, maybe you're using it as a separator pattern or as a border, something along those lines, and you only need to do this pattern one time, you would stop here at row 25, and that would be where you end your work. For the rest of us who are going to repeat this exact design over and over to make a larger project, like a blanket out of this one, we are going to need to work row 26, which is a transition row for us that allows us to be able to repeat this design. So we're going to work row 26 now and row 26 is worked in color B. It's a very, very simple row. We're just going to work a back loop only single crochet. So we're single crocheting all the way down the row. So one single crochet in every stitch and then meet up with me one final time and we're gonna talk about what rows you need to do in order to repeat this design and where you're going to end your project for those of you who are using multiple repeats of this one for a larger project.
Here's what your work will look like after you've completed row 26. From here, you can rewind in this video back to row three, and you will work rows three through 26 over and over as many times as you would like to build out the stacked diamonds and to finish a larger project. Once you are finishing up your project and you're on your last repeat of the design, I still recommend that you end at row 25, and that's just so that you end on a color A row, just like we began on a color A row, and that will give you a more even look to your project. We don't actually need this row 26 up here at the end. We only need it when we are going to continue to move up and keep working. You'll see as you begin the repeat over back here on row 3 and work rows 3 through 26 again. You'll see what happens. Hopefully you have enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please, please, please make sure that you are subscribed. Please give this video a thumbs up, and please leave me a comment down below. And until next time, thank you as always for watching. Bye for now.